Welcome. Hello. Okay. Hello. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. I think uh, before we start, it's probably good to introduce ourselves. Yes, I think that would be a very yes. good idea. Yes. Considering we're on two channels. So, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, on Stan IP, this is Let's Talk IP. I'm Christian. It's Ezra. Hello, I'm Ezra. I'm an artist, a character designer, illustrator, and contemporary, and I am very aware of what's happening currently in the art industry. And so, yeah, we're going to have a discussion around all the legal aspects of it. Yes, yes. And for your channel, I'm Christian Stain from Stain IP, and I'm an intellectual property attorney. Now, what intellectual property is for your viewers that don't know? Yes. In terms of the art community, we look at copyright and trademarks relating to art and artist and creativity and patents and designs, but that's, that's, yeah, the, that's... the technical side. So <laughs> when it comes to your, your views, I think they'll be more interested in more sort of copyright. Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. And we're talking about AI and AI art, art yeah. which is a very controversial, very controversial and contentious <laughs> topic. Uh, I think that that sort of describes it in a nutshell. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah so uh, guys, uh, from part one, which, where I gave my opinion from an artist's point of view, so we're going to go and discuss the legal aspects on AI and all these questions that we as artists have. And yeah, yeah we're going to go through that. Yeah, and we'll obviously link, um, link the link, post the link uh, to that first part on his channel. Mm below and uh, not below like in, in the bottom of the description, here, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, below, below in the description as well as links to his channel so so you can go check out his art yeah and the full video that you'll be posting yes we'll post I'll be videos. linking it again that's like because I'm yes. gonna cut it out no no it's fine it's fine we, we have a long version uh yeah yeah, yeah um, long version. okay well okay and on all right, yeah, so I mean, I think before we actually get started, I think we just need to sort of discuss what is AI. Oh, yes. I think that's a very, <laughs> that important, very topic important topic. Because at the moment, it's discussed as an AI art, but in reality, it's not really AI. It not. It's, it's it just an not. image generator. Yes, it is. Um, well, to an extent. To an extent, um, yeah. When we look at artificial intelligence or what the public regards as artificial intelligence at this stage, especially looking at it from a legal standing, whether it's AI in, in relation to art or AI in relation to, um, to literature or AI in relation to robotics, like mm. this little guy here, who I turned off because he's too noisy. Um, <laughs> it's a AI, or we refer to it as AI, but it is actually smart programming and machine learning. Yeah. Artificial intelligence in the true sense of it hasn't really been developed yet yes yes there's a lot of people that will disagree things like that but yeah. when we look at it in a legal sense artificial intelligence does not exist in the true sense it is very smart learning it's machine learning it's algorithms yeah. it is immense technology going into something that has the ability to take something and mimic artificial intelligence mm. or do something to such an extent that it mirrors artificial intelligence but true artificial intelligence is not what we were looking yeah. at here. Yeah, yeah. it is especially not what we are looking at in relation to the art community mm. currently we are there looking at smart learning technology yeah. input and output exactly yeah because when I think of AI, I think of a, a robot that's uh, going to be speaking and acting on its own, and you know, it, which isn't the case. Yeah, you no, need no, an no. external output for it. Yes, you, you're yeah. thinking, what was it? I robot. I uh, robot. Yeah. Terminator, it's... things like that. Yes. We're, we're not. We're not. We're at, not there yet. There yet. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. It's probably it's, it's, it's coming soon, and then yeah. there's a different discussion we will have. But we'll, we'll get what there. we are looking at now. Yeah in AI and art is not artificial intelligence. Mm. It is machine learning and smart programming. Yeah. Yeah. No, I completely agree with that. Okay. No, well, the, if you disagree. That's... Yes, please. Uh... Please, please give it. A, this is an open discussion. Yes, it's exactly. It's an open discussion to 
to um, the viewers as well, because it is, in a sense, a discussion. We mm. want your opinion. We want to engage with you on this. Please be respectful of each other's topics and views. Yeah. I beg you. Yeah. There's no reason to fight yeah, among each other. Fight. <laughs> we have different opinions. Yes. Because we are a society with different opinions. This is a safe space. Yes. You give your opinions and don't hassle each other. Yeah. No, no, no. It's uh, so we got, it won't it won't be tolerated. Yeah, so definitely um, like posting our comment sections and no, keep your, keep it clean. Yes, exactly. And, and respectful. I think respectful is a good yes. thing. Because again, contentious subject. Yeah, you have both sides, one for, one against. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, I think really what the artists are worrying about is: do AI companies actually have the right to use their work <laughs> to learn these uh, these algorithms in the end? Uh, short answer is no. But when I say short answer, I mean just it depends on various aspects. Um, Yes, they don't have the right to use your work without your consent. Mm. No, no person, no company, no AI can use your created work without your consent. But where the loopholes come in is where did you post it? Mm. Where have you already distributed your art? Whether it's physical distribution or more commonly digital distribution on certain social media platforms, which most especially newer artists use very successfully. Mm. And what is the relation you ha relationship you have with that platform you are using to distribute or at least give, give, um, get your art out in the mo market and out to the, the public? What is your understanding with them? What rights did you give to them when you posted? Probably without you realizing it. Yes. And w how can they then reuse it? So yes, that... AI is not necessarily allowed to use it, mm. but they might have a runaround where they might, for argument's sake, on a specific social media platform. I'm not naming any because yeah. I don't want to go into that. <laughs> but on a specific social media platform, if you upload an image, you give that platform the right to share that image with other third-party developers, including AI mm, apps. Interesting, okay. So... Yeah, you might not have given the AI app rights to use your art, but you have given by social. default by posting onto this social media platform, yeah. giving them the right, right to share it with those third parties. Huh. So people forget forget those loopholes and things. Probably people tend because to just, we never learn yes, and read the terms and just, conditions. Exactly, and that, saying, that is the main that. issue. Read the terms and conditions. Yes read the privacy policies, read the policies that are constantly updated on mm -hmm. social media. Don't just accept it because it constantly change. Yeah. You have to go into your settings every now and again to ensure that you are comfortable with the new policy update, the new sharing update, the new whatever. Update, yeah. Which is likely when AI started using, there was most probably in some of these social media platforms an update mm. asking that, are you comfortable, not in direct terms, but yes. you allow them to use it, yes or no? You probably just saw a pop-up and... Like, yeah. Yeah, except... So decided like, not even to read it. Or, yes. So, it. before people get upset about, oh, they are using my art as part of their algorithm, they might have the consent mm. indirectly from you. Yeah. That said... If you don't give consent outright or through that third party loop, they are not allowed to use it. So let's focus on that. Let's say argument of third party rights that you gave them and they gave that aside. Yeah. Let's go to the technicalities of it. You are the author and creator of your, your art. Mm. Um, and therefore you are the owner. Yeah, yeah. If you do not give consent to somebody to use it like an AI generator mm -hmm. or upload it to the generator and willingly to say, please use this yes. as part of your platform, um, they cannot legally use it. Okay. That's the short of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's very interesting. But don't you think that they're stretching the copyright fair use a bit <laughs> on this? <laughs> um, look, fair, fair use is a, a 
topic on its own. It's a topic on its that, own. That, but... that's, that I think we can get into at a later stage. At a later stage. Point two. Right. Um, especially with the copyright yes. amendment coming in. Yeah. Um, again, another topic. But, but fair use is a very specific term and it has very specific rules okay. associated to yeah. it. One thing you have to remember as a South African artist, currently we do not have the concept of fair use in South African copyright law. Okay. That said, if you use a foreign app developed in America or something, yeah. they have fair use. Therefore, you abide by their terms. Yeah. Yes. If it is used there, copyright is a very complicated law it, with various things that need to fall yeah. into play. We won't go into details. No, please don't. <laughs> uh, but when you look at fair use, you cannot just call fair use in a something like this. Fair yeah. use is very specific. Fair use has very specific legalities surrounding that concept. And again, it's not a South African concept. Okay. It's a foreign concept. concept yeah. So you have to look at the foreign concept in relation to that foreign law. Mm. And fair use in that foreign aspect has certain requirements it needs to meet to be able to be a way around infringement. And remember, it is not a it's not infringement because it is a yes, it might be infringement, but these are one of the ex exceptions to infringement. It it it's not just something you can say, ha no, no, this is fair use. Yes. You can't. It's not how it works. Okay. So yes, a lot of people, and especially the app developers of, of AI, uses this fair use doctrine to get around yes. or to argue around it. it yeah. However, whether that's an accurate argument is still to be determined by the relevant courts of law. All right. Um, <laughs> so I, I'm not going to deliberate on yes, that. Yes, okay, no, no. In, in my Makes view, sense. no, they can't just call it yes. for the sake of it. Yeah. But again, there's so many factors that, that needs to come into play. Mm. Um, are these AI developers, and when I re refer to the AI developers, I refer to the art app developers, mm. are they allowed to use a, um, fair use in this instance legitimately or not? Yeah. And that is a question that, that unfortunately needs to be interpreted on the merit of each case in the relevant court of law. Okay. Yeah. I'd, I'm just saying they can't just they can't just go that Good, way for that, the yeah. sake of it. Yes. It's not an easy out. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll definitely see what the future holds because oh, yes. we already know there's a few lawsuits in place, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but circling kind of back to the social media as, you know, kind of agreeing to uh, a, a third party using your stuff. Mm. Don't you think that these social media platforms should actually include a more direct approach to say, well, there's a button before you post to say, okay, I do wholeheartedly <laughs> agree to use it or not. Because for example, yeah. ArtStation, which is a platform for digital artists and creators and such, mm -hmm. they've actually included something similar to that, which a third party cannot use yes. it if you tick that you don't want it used for AI or learning. Yeah. So don't you think something like that should be considered for social media platforms? Yes. Sure, the answer is yes, it mm. should be considered. I, I, I believe it should be considered. And I think a lot of people would agree with us on that, except for the guys that own these platforms. Yeah, so. Um, so in principle, yes. But, but you have to understand that these, these platforms, so for instance, you take Facebook. Yeah. Now, I, I, I use Facebook as an example. I'm not saying anything negative of them. Please, yes. this is an example. Um, if you take Facebook, yeah. they yeah. are a very specific app. They were developed for a social media in a specific sense. Mm. So if they, in the general terms of conditions where, where you agree to, say, by uploading images, you agree to the use thereof, yeah. the intention or, or the rationale behind it was, yeah, it's photos of us being outside, interacting, going yes. to events. Yeah. Yes, people are using it differently. But mm. you also have to remember that that, that those third-party app developers, like the social media app developers, those apps have specific 
intended uses. And they develop their policies surrounding those uses. Yeah. Yes, they are more and more regulated by the authorities in the area. And we've seen more and more things coming up where they are forced to do X, forced to do Y. Very recently on, on, um, on Apple side, when you now have an app, when you open it, it asks. Yes. Tracking or not, right. tracing or not. Right. So, so there is this constant development of privacy laws and of, of security and privacy sharing and image sharing and things that I think and I hope that will come through more and more. Yeah. You have to remember, AI is a very new... It's, it is kind, it's, yeah, it's yeah, very new. Yeah, AI is not... Well, AI, AI isn't, AI new, isn't but new, the, but, but what they are doing with art... Currently now, because I think that's only came in like mid last year yeah. or be, something like no, that. It's, it's, it's very, very new. No, no, it's very new. In, in all retrospects, though, these AI companies didn't create, or didn't, when they created AI, they didn't actually initially think of... Hmm. Uh, what we currently have at the moment is something that came at a oh, later no, 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 stage. No, no. So uh, definitely, um, and as technology develops, regulation will follow. Yeah, it, it's just a nat natural progression. Um, and I know we had this discussion offline. Yes, there is from that first time something popped up like this. The law industry went crazy. Crazy, yeah. <laughs> Viewers and the public might not know this, mm. but. In a legal fraternity, the, 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 there's various um, stakeholders that already started looking at how is this impacting intellectual property law, how is this in, impacting um, privacy law, how is this impacting international trade. Looking at how will we need to focus, how will we need to hopefully eventually legislate or litigate around these things. So it's not just up and in, we'll see what AI does. Yeah. There are people and bodies and organizations like working behind the scenes, working behind the scenes, yeah. looking at this. Universities actually dedicating time and staff on researching this okay. because you can yeah. imagine on the university side it, what AI, yeah, yeah. AI technology for sure, the impact negative and positive mm. it might have. Um, and on that, I think honestly, AI is. I don't want to be quoted in 10 years of saying, Christian said AI is here to stay. <laughs> and, then, and then it's like the typical ha ha ha. Yes. But, but I think AI technology is one of those things similar to what, what streaming did to the CD or even worse to right. the, the um, videotape yeah. and DVD industry. It is a new technology. It makes things simpler. If you do not adapt to it, or if you do not regulate it, mm. the impact it will have on specific industries as well as future econ economy, which is always a thing, yes. will be devastating. And because of that, they, they will always be stakeholders invested in how does it affect it? How do we look at it? Mm. Where users of it, or in this case, the artist creating it, that they see the negative, mm. usually. Some sees the positive. Yeah. I, I know after our, our discussion yes, yes. last, you did venture into, oh, wait, venture, there, is, yeah, yeah. there is possibility where you can use it. But you have to look at it and not just fight against it for the yeah. sake of fighting yeah. against it. Let's go even further back. Art versus photography. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Because back then, the only way to have captured a guy was to create a portraiture. Yeah. And then photography was invented. Oh. That shifted the entire art industry back Imagine then. They freaked out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? um, and then later on time, they started adapting of it and actually using mm. photography yeah. to create, you know, take a specific scene mm. and recreate that or whatever. And, and now photography is a, it's, it's part become, on its yeah, own. Yeah, it's become part of... Yes, so, and it's accepted industry. and things like that. And yeah. I think, although not that exact same scenario, but I think we, we're sitting at a point where AI and art, or AI-generated art versus traditional art, mm. will have that thing. I would prefer something that an artist created himself and yes. signed and painted, yeah. as opposed to an AI thing that I can create myself. Right. It's that nostalgic, nostalgic aspect to art. Um, 
and, and that's something that I think artists should, should remember. Yes, use AI. See how you can implement mm. it into your, yeah. your, your artistic career. Say how, see how you can use it to maybe conceptualize or create digital aspects yeah. that you are maybe not, not able to create or that has not a reason for you to spend 10 hours creating a background where you can just have AI create a background. Create it for you, yes, yes, And, yes. and you yeah. do the rest. Use it as a tool. Exactly, yeah. that's the thing that's though. The thing. AI is rather more a tool than anything yes, else because yes. it still can't do anything on its own. No. It, you do need that external factor to actually utilize yes, it. Yes. And this is what I said as well um, on, on my previous video is that uh, I think that artists can truly utilize this to the content. I mean, there, there, are, there are two great examples mm. of artists, right? Necro, which is uh, usually based on Twitter, that's sort of his place. Um, he generates uh, these sort of 3D model aspects separately with AI. He then takes them, he photo bashes, which means that you're, you sort of basically take multiple stuff and put mm -hmm. them together and recreate something new. He creates artwork using AI as, he, as, as, yeah. a, you know, as a form of, of making art for him easier. Um, and you, I mean, again, there, there's uh, another artist who's recently lost you. I'm not sure if you've heard, but um, uh, Jason, uh, that, uh, I can't exactly remember <laughs> his name now, but uh, he created an uh, artwork called uh, Theater the Opera Special that uh, he entered I, for an art competition yes, last yes, I know. year. We did, we did a post on, on it um, on social media. The art, yes. the art piece is actually posted. So, so yeah, no, I, I mean, he, he, the, the, the prompt that he added into AI was ridiculous. I think it was like three pages long or five something. Pages. Five, five pages long. I mean, he spent, I don't know, eight, 11 hours or something like that just typing to create this ideal yeah. artwork. So the potential is there for artists to use. Yeah. To me, that is creativity. Yes. Um, using it as a tool. And again, tools can be misused. No, for sure. For Th sure. That, for that sure. is definitely That's something. always happened. <laughs> that, that is the thing. Yes. Tools will be misused. Um, but yeah, AI, the, the way in which AI is generated or AI mm. art is generated is input, output. Output, yeah. Um, and people, I can type Leonardo da Vinci smoking a joint. <laughs> And AI will create, create it. Leonardo, but anybody yes. can type that. Anyone, anyone. Where if I type a five page document yeah. explaining how this AI should generate rate what I have in my yes. head, and it comes out that, I mean, it's, a, it, it's an amazing piece That's, of work. It's an I, amazing piece. I, I really. have to acknowledge that. And if you don't know it, go back into yeah. the Stan IP links and you'll find it. Um, that is artistic in its own life. It is. Yes, he used, he used the paintbrush being an AI generator yeah. to create what he wanted to create. But Similar, he knew what he wanted yes. to create, so he actually he made is, an active effort to do exactly. that. Exactly. And I think that's something, uh, I think that is something, well, while we're talking about it, sort of let's go into the mm -hmm. fact of who actually owns the AI hardware. Because <laughs> I think that's a good point yes. to start at because like we said though, if someone just, yeah, Leonardo da Vinci, you know, smoking a joint, that, that isn't really art at all. I mean, it's yeah. just... It might be artistic. It might be artistic, but, but, but there wasn't there, really... There wasn't, really a there wasn't thought and creativity going yes, into yes, that. Yes, yes, but yes. when, for example, this Jason had created this art with me, he spent hours in it. Mm. So, I mean, that is kind of... Well, well he kind of owns it, right? Sort of. So yeah, that's a difficult uh, thing, yeah, right? Yeah, so, because actually, you own it, because is it the user or is it the AI? Is it both? That, that, that depends on the AI um, platform and it depends on the user policies. Mm. Because sometimes, again, why it's so important to read the terms and conditions when you use any application, yeah. any platform. Um, if how it should happen, arguably, is I use the tool to create the artwork, therefore the artwork is owned by me. Yes. However, the policy of this AI app might be if you create something using our app, we own it. Yeah. Or 
there might be a co-use or co-owns um, something again here we're going into the technicalities of copyright but yes. where you own it you can reuse it but they still ret re um, retain certain rights to also do that mm. so so firstly look at what app are you creating what are they use and ownership terms and then make sure that you if you use an app as a tool to create legitimate artwork and when i say legitimate we had what we refer to now yeah you should own it hmm. it's similar to you i know you you generate yeah digital I, art. I basically yeah, yeah i mean i do digital art and i've actually used uh this ai software as well but as references yeah like reference. sort of yeah what I have in mind for a character, I use that and I recreate a character still on my own, but I still use some reference source using AI. Yeah. So generally how it would work is, again, subject to the, a policy being the contrary, is I give an input, how long ever it is, and that art that comes out yeah. is the output of my input, and I own the intellectual property or the copyright in that mm -hmm. art. Again, subject to whatever that app I use might say, it might be contrary to that, mm. please. But, but the general term would be that. Yeah. Um, so ownership of the creation would ideally lie with the creator being you as the input user. Yes. The app does not create. No. The app renders based on, again, algorithms and predetermined rules and input export. You create, you are the artist that creates. So on that point, the app does not infringe. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's the... Might not infringe. Might let, not. Let's, yeah, go so... let, let's say a might. I'm yes, not going to please. put something through <laughs> as an absolute. Might not infringe. Right. Because if I type in Leonardo mm. smoking a joint in the style of Ezra, mm. I'm the input, you, um, I okay. give the input. Yeah. I am intentionally telling the app to generate a piece of work that mimics yours. Mm -hmm. So I'm intentionally infringing your style. Yeah. And it might actually go as far as I might say, recruit. I know um, there's images of this on yes. your social media. Yeah. So if I tell the, the AI app, please recreate or just say, uh, Ezra art purple version of Jim. Jim yeah. Likely it is something yeah. similar to this yeah, might yeah, pop yeah. up because I I actually told him, please copy that piece of art. Yeah, exactly. But I'm the infringer, not the yes. AI. Yeah. But how do we trace it? How do we trace it? It's so an issue. If, as you say, the user types in, he wants it in a specific artist style, Okay, so it's not being produced. But if they use it for themselves, are they really, are they infringed? They're still infringing yeah, yeah, in a sense, but they, it's, yeah, infringement, it's private. Yeah, there's, there's infringement and then there is exclusions or um, instances where infringement mm. is allowed. Mm. Um, now, private use, one of those fair use aspects, and actually, interestingly enough, in South Africa, the fair, fair dealings, what we currently have under the current copyright act yeah. and for future viewers please look at the date when i refer <laughs> to the current copyright act because as we are speaking parliament is busy looking at a new copyright act um mm -hmm. and that's why i have to give that yes because just if copyright <laughs> change, but under the current copyright act which we are at this stage looking at um, we have fair dealing now fair dealing has very specific very very specific mm -hmm. exclusions um, and if I, if I make something for personal use, private use, it, it's excluded. I'm not commercializing it. Yes. I'm not putting it into the public. I'm not going, I'm, I just wanted something in my, my office that looks like something that you do and I can't afford you. Yeah. I'm not going to tell people that you created it. Mm. That's the other thing that you must yeah. People cannot say it is Ezra art. Yeah. I just wanted something that, that looks, I like your style, but I can't afford you. Therefore, I, I want something that something, looks yeah. like it, but it's for private use. Nobody will buy it. Nobody will really see it. I will not tell people it's yeah. yours, but it's, it's exclusion to it. The moment there's commercialization, 
No. So that when when something starts getting commercialized or posted on social media and it's in the public, then does infringement start getting real? Real yes. there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Subject to certain criteria, but yes, the mo- yeah. the moment you you copy and you make it public or make it in a way that it is commercialized. And when, when we refer to commercialization, it's not only a financial commercial, commercialization. Mm. Okay. Um, if, if you use it to promote yourself. Mm. So it, that's also... That, that's also... It, okay. it, it, it's, it will then be copyright infringement. Again, subject to various things. But argument's sake, the scenario we used for this, yes. if I then say, okay, well, I created something that looks almost exactly like this through AI, yeah. I am going to start posting it to try and promote my, my art career. Right. But I'm just creating yes. AI-generated copies yeah. of other people's work. That is outright copyright infringement. Sure. And obviously, it's easy to trace me because I am actually posting the yeah, stuff. Yeah, posting it is very easy um, to so, so, yeah, that would be in my view at least, copyright infringement. Um, but people just making pieces of art for the heck of it because it's funny to them. Yeah. Uh, yes, my, my, um, it's an extent of infringement, but is it actually malice? Is there damage to you yeah. if that, that's done? There is cases. I mean, for example, there is an ad which is an, uh, a stream artist, or she street stream. Uh, so she created, uh, or she was busy creating an artwork, and so a user came. I think that's everyone should hear that user. Yes. So the user, so the viewer came, uh, was on a on a Twitch stream, saw the artwork, took it, the incomplete artwork, uh, fed it into AI, and finished it. What happened is this person then posted it on Twitter uh, before she actually finished the artwork and uh, said, okay, well, this is my artwork, created and stuff. And when Ed ended up posting the final piece, the, this guy demanded in the comments, oh, yeah, you should credit me. <laughs> but, well, I mean, oh, to, to be fair, to be fair, though, uh, onlookers were very enraged and no, no, they bullied them off of Twitter, but... Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, he infringed. He infringed. In that case, he infringed, so, yeah, without a doubt. I think what the viewers need to realize that Yes, I, I think there is some places where AI is infringing when I actually take the artist's okay, yeah. work and oh, the style specifically and still just learning yeah. it. But it ultimately, the view of the user yeah, we'll, is, we'll it, infringe. is the guy that's yeah. infringing. Well, we, we spoke about, and that just to throw a spanner in the works, we spoke here about input output. Yes. We, we spoke about the actual art. The, the outcome, the art, mm. we, we have it and, and the scenario about infringement surrounding that and the ownership surrounding that. We did not speak about the actual art pieces that are used as reference, the reference. by these third part, by these app developers, by these AI bots mm. without consent. So there's a big difference between the two that, that I think um, people should should understand the yep. one scenario we're looking at the user of the app and the art piece that is coming out yes with where the app is a tool so we're looking at users okay the second piece is we're looking at the app and how the app would use images to be able to regenerate or to do what it's supposed to do yeah and that is another scenario and that there's a few cases surrounding that mm. i know in um most recent one is the Getty Images one. Yeah. Um, where is the app allowed to use? And this kind of comes back to your yeah. original question: Is can the app use images on the, on online? Because remember, if something is online, it does not mean it's free to use. Yes. Yeah. It's just online. It's still subject to copyright yeah. and protection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can this app reference or use this mm-hmm. as? the data stream it uses to be able to generate art mm. because like we said it's smart technology it's not ai it's not creating it out of thin air like you would. yeah it is it needs it needs it needs it, data, it needs data. Basically, yeah. and that data might include your art yeah is that infringement mm. and again then my view is yes it is if you did not give like we said if you did not give an ai 
creator the rights to use your app okay. of your image, image yeah. for the app. They're infringing it if they use it. Mm. Subject again to policies of third party apps and those, those integrations that complicates this even further. Yeah. But it, the scenario is, and I, I hope this is what a viewer understands now, is it is not a black and white case. There's so many um, aspects to consider, so many points to take into consideration that would have impact on this. And again, it is a new technology that would hopefully and most likely still be regulated at some point. But at this stage, it's a bit complicated. I understand why artists get upset because they, they th think these people are using their art without consent, which likely don't, don't get me wrong. Yes. But is it done in such a way that it actually damages you as an artist? Yes, I do believe that where your art is used, you should be credited for it. And you should be remunerated for it where they make money out of something. Yeah. I completely agree with that. Mm. In fact, I'm an advocate for that. That give credit where it's due and yes. pay what it what it is relevant. For sure. That that should be unconditional. No, I agree. Although we know in the industry it's not like that. How many <laughs> times have you done something for the exposure? Uh -huh. Have you tried putting an exposure at, at a filling station in your car? <laughs> nope, it no. doesn't work. So, so, but, but I mean that, yes. you, me and you know our views on that. But the fact is, yes, although those principles and those ethical questions should be considered is, will you, will you for instance, want to take on one of these app developers <laughs> because you think they might have referenced it? No, I'm considering not the cost and the legal battle will incur. Yes, I agree there are certain there, things, but you have to yeah. consider consider the scenarios and the merit of each case. If yeah. you know they're infringing you and it's very clear, then yes, yeah, take thing them on. is. But going up in arms based on the fact that they might be using your art without verifying that and without it actually having damaged you, your career. Mm -hmm. In my personal opinion, you're, you're wasting your time where you could have recreated your own art. Yeah. It's, again, I know there's good people going to post comments on that comment, uh -huh. but, but understand where it's coming from yes. is, as frustrating as it is, your artist create. Yeah. In fact, create something that shows how upset you are about it. <laughs> yeah. Use it as inspiration. Again, I agree that it is, is wrong. I am fully behind artists saying that when their, their works are used, they should be remunerated or, or given a choice right. for it to be used. I, I mean, our firm is based on those principles. Mm. But reality is you should not always fight on principle. Yes. Because you will I, spend too much time and too much money fighting right. on principle. Yeah. Um, and you wouldn't necessarily get a no, positive no, 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 outcome. From no, it. no, you, you will probably not. But when there's clear infringement and you can yes. prove it, then you come to us and we, we have yeah. the, the proper fight. The clear we, evidence will... Yeah. Uh, um, so, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's it, an interesting topic. <laughs> yes, it is. It's a very interesting topic. And I think, yeah, I f yeah it is, it's artists all around. You just... Ah. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I think really on that there is there is something interesting because <laughs> will this affect the art community further? Because I know currently as it stands, but from a negative point of view, because oh, yes. currently um, I've actually had a few few artists actually comment on my videos uh, when I talked about it in part one. I actually said, okay, well, I'm not even posting art anymore because people keep commenting that it's AI generated and they feel. Um, they feel, yeah, you know, they feel kind of a bit attacked. Even, even for example, Sam Yan is uh, quite a popular YouTuber and mm. artist uh, in his own right. Uh, he is obviously his work was also uh, used to learn this stuff, and um, people started just creating, uh, created, created art, created their art with his stuff for the fun of it. But also, some of them actually kind mm. of just kind of claiming it was theirs, you know, I think when it comes to Stalker Stars and 
as it, as its own copyright, I suppose. So uh, what happened is this guy sort of got backlash when he started talking about it because you know the 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 non the non users, the onlookers, the people using it sort of sort of saying, okay, but you're too sensitive about the subject and everything yeah. like that as well. So look. Oh. AI, like everything, you will have the pros and the cons, yeah. and you will have the in favor of group and the against group, and then you will every, have everyone in, in between. Because mm. usually, the most of the people are in between, and then you have your extremes on the one side and extremes on the other side, which is necessary. That's how we have debates and stuff. Um, but yeah, so, so looking at whether this has, is going to have a negative impact on the art community, yes. For various reasons. Yeah. One reason is the attitude. When I refer to attitude, I, I, I don't refer to it in a, oh, you've got an attitude. I refer yeah. to it in the attitude in which artists and art community will look at this. Mm. And this is not only the art community being the artists writing, it's the appreciators of art. Yeah. Personally, art should have emotion. And I haven't seen any AI generated art, irrespective of how good it is, yeah. invoke emotion because something that has no concept of emotion, like an app, cannot mimic, you cannot mimic emotion, yes, yeah, irrespective yeah. of how good art, art you try. Mm -hmm. And art, like music as well, yeah. is an emotional connection. Right. What makes a piece of art, the Mona Lisa, is that emotion is you that get emotion when you look at it. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, currently as it stands, I don't think AI generated art would have that effect to the extent it would have from an actual piece of art, yeah. digital or otherwise, because a human has emotions. Mm -hmm. Art, and robots. Yeah, with AI, it just, have, it, there it, isn't. It's, it's that lack of this, emotion. Yeah, it might there. have emotion in the, in the mm. input, but you can't you can't explain emotion to yeah. to something that cannot comprehend i kind of think that's also sort of similar to when digital art first sort of came yes. into the market people no, no. sort of thought it was very in person you know it has to be painted and such yeah. and now if you look at the it's work that's being produced it's, yes, yes i mean you know, i mean it's impeccable mm, in its own right take uh, th this is this book of ours is yeah. digitally generated art but it's not ai generated it is a digital artist. Digital artist. Um, the, very the, cool. Versus those chairs you did for us yes. um, for Comic Con. Right. Um, again, go look at the photos. They, they are brilliant. Um, those chairs are actual art. Yeah. You you hand painted it, mm. and it's styles. It's different styles. It's different styles. It's different mediums. Yes. Really. Yes. But but, yeah. but it's a yeah. It's a different medium. It's a different medium. Um, it's a one is traditional. One is digital. Yes. So did it, instead of taking a paintbrush and painting, you taking yeah, your mouse or your stylus and, stylus and, and you're doing it. It. Yeah. It's the same concept. Right. And I think AI has that potential to become a medium or a paintbrush, yeah. um, subject to a lot of development and a lot of acceptance by various sides of the community. Mm. But there will always be people for and against it, yeah. which is the sad thing, and that kind of brings me back to, to my point I was trying to make about, yes, it will undoubtedly affect it in a negative way, because you will, have all, as long as you have people that in the art community bombard artists using AI for reference or for whatever, that is a negative input you put into yeah. this. Why be negative? If you don't like AI art, don't use it. Don't comment yeah, on it. Don't, comment don't on go it. out and find somebody that creates right. brilliant digital art and bash them because you're like, ah, oh, this is digital. This mm. is digital art. This yeah. is AI generated. Yeah. Why put that negativity out there? Why not accept it? Yes, you don't like it. You don't like it, but but then still accept it. Bro. You know what the nice thing is about any social media platform is, you can skip. You don't have to find. You that don't have is to true. scroll further. That is true. Why put negativity in, into it? Why? Well, the reality yeah. is humans cannot help themselves. Yeah. And that's why I'm saying AI will have a negative impact on our art community. I think first and foremost on that. Yeah. It will not take away money from artists because if I want to buy a piece of art, I want to buy a piece of art oh. I like. Yes. 
I'm not going to buy, buy instead of your art, which mm. I like, a digital rendered art I don't like or AI rendered art I don't like mm. because I don't like it. Yeah. Artists forget sometimes, I'm not saying everyone, but most of the times artists forget that. I will still like your art. The fact yeah. that there's now competition generated through AI art doesn't mean I'm not going to like your art. Yes. I'm not going to buy your art. Yeah. If I like your art, that's right. what I'm going to Gonna yeah. buy. Similar to music, there's so many genres and so many music. And out you there. can like multiple. You can. You have to see my playlist. Artists work. There's a yeah. place on my playlist for everyone I like. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Same with art. Right. I will not because I bought one piece not buy something else. Yeah, yeah. Me. Well, if I have the money, naturally. Yes. But but that's the thing, and that's why I'm trying to say, don't be negative about it. If you don't like it, don't like it. Raise your voice again mm -hmm. in a respectful and a give, give, how can I put this? Give a positive impact on it. Yes. Give some, don't just fight for the sake of fighting. Don't just shout for the sake mm -hmm. of shouting. Give something what, say it's a problem, say yeah. you don't like it and give, give a solution. Give positive feedback yeah, to or, or something. Feedback or feedback people can use, yeah. which it's not just an art community, it's across the board. Yeah. People like shouting for the sake of shouting. <laughs> instead of instead of actually giving just, something. Yeah. If you don't like it, either steer clear or, or give something explaining why you don't like it again in a respectful manner. You don't need to be personal towards the artist. Right. And yeah, I'm not talking about it to the artist. Yeah, <laughs> I'm talking about critiques on art that don't really classify as artists in their own right. Yeah. Comment on the art, critique the art, not the artist. Yes. And here again, irrespective of whether they use digital art, paint, paintbrush, spray cans, graffiti artists, to me they are artists, yes. um, or AI, they are artists. Don't, don't critique the artist, critique the art and do it in a way Aye. that's not demeaning and why break down? Mm. But I mean, that, that's the negative yeah, impact yeah. AI will have. Because okay. now there's another scenario, an artist will fight again amongst each other. Because how dare you be pro AI? Yes. And a lot of times without understanding the concepts of it. When we talked about the general lawsuits and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, well, we already know about Getty Images. Yes. I'm not sure really what's going to happen there, but I've heard that there's more of a stronger case there than the one that's been placed by the free artists that sort of what i said uh, i think uh, it was a copyright uh, uh class action copyright yes, lawsuit, yes. right so what 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 would I actually be able to expect from both of them because i know both of them yeah, have both, different both, both of them different are things very so. different scenarios yeah. very different but i've heard that getting image as a stronger um one then to an extent action. i've got a stronger case because the burden of proof yeah. copyright you need to prove um and you need to prove infringement and things like that and yeah. i'm not going to it's too <laughs> early in those cases too to, early, to, okay. to actually even try and ponder on what the outcome what would be, be your prediction perhaps no no <laughs> no no uh, as an attorney, we, we, we are okay, okay, cautious okay. of making predictions in on I'll, I'll do the opinions um, here, then. <laughs> yes, you, you, you can do the opinion. Um, I, I have my opinions on both cases. Yeah. Um, like, like you rem remember, I, I shared the one at least with yes. you. Yes. Um, I do have my opinions on those cases. But I will re reserve we'll see what my happens. opinion we'll until see that. What happens. Yeah. I am more than... When, when there's the first judgments... I will comment on that. Yeah. I will give my opinion on right. that outcome. Okay. But I'm I'm scared. <laughs> you say <laughs> something you're gonna be like, no, no, no. Christian, you say that. <laughs> no, no, but, but it's not that. It's it just, it's the first case. You're right. So in this, there, there's a lot of gray really, areas. Yeah, and it comes back to the principles of you're looking at fifty year old law hmm. versus five month old technology. <laughs> right. Uh, the, the courts need to try and figure out and luckily it's not my job it's the court's job yeah. I know what my argument would have been if right. I was Getty Images as attorney and I would know what my argument would have been if I was the AI's attorney yeah. they would have differed completely because uh, that's the nature of what we do right. depending on who's our client we, we interpret the law 
in their favor, as still within the law, and try and argue why X, Y, and Z. Mm. So my arguments on both sides, I know. Yeah. But I'm not going to try and figure out what outcome would be until <laughs> there's an outcome because right. it's new law. It's new. It's it's new. I'm looking forward to it, and then I can't wait to comment. Yes. On it. But yeah, it's it's an interesting thing. I do know. Yes, I agree. Getty Images in this case is the simpler one of the two. Let's put it like that. Okay. Um, right. But. Not taking away from the other one, a class yeah, action. Yeah. That that's also a very I think both of them are important because mm -hmm. it will pave the way, or at least sort of try and pave the way. Yeah, I think I think it's a I think it's a good chance for the for especially AI companies to actually realise that they need to well yes. change the way they're doing things because it ultimately it still stands to there's an ethical problem here so yeah i think yeah uh, i think yeah i agree with you that with the, with these oh, laws yes. it, it'll definitely open some yeah well if nothing at all it will open debate yeah yeah in in that sense not just a pro and con debate but a but a debate in the sense of wait this was the legal view even if they settle it at least some of the points points might come across yeah i, I look I hope they don't settle because I would love to have a, right. a judgment yeah. that we could refer to and review. Yeah. But likely it is cases like that tend to settle out of court. Okay. Which is good for the parties, but bad for the lawyers. Well, for yeah. the lawyers. Because we want we want reference documents. We want presidents. <laughs> go forth and read. Yes, yeah. Um, but you know, I don't think they are the first that they are the first of many cases, mm. I believe. I think, I think we will in a year from now sit again and, and see have a discussion yeah. on cases, yeah. and we would have a clearer picture of how this 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 various scenarios of interaction mm. between creators and artists and AI and the ultimate user and consumer would 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 look. Currently, we we're just trying to find our way in the fog. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think. Yeah, we can talk about this forever. But yeah, I think there's a lot to talk about. But I think we've been well, able to actually pinpoint the, the, the best. I think the most important questions that yeah. really everyone in general. Well, look, and look, I, I invite viewers on our channel and on your channel yeah. to to post comp, um, questions to us. Again, please be respectful yeah. with your yeah. questions, Agreed. with your interaction with other um, other viewers, with people that post. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I will delete you. Yes, if, if I, you, I will. Uh, I will also delete yes, any. Yes, delete uh, and block if you are disrespectful. Yes, no. This to is, anyone. This is a safe space yes. to have a proper discussion, and that, that's yeah. the thing. And if you if you've seen anything on our other videos, we, we do it. It's it's not. We don't tolerate bullying. Yeah, no, don't I don't bully me neither. You can have your opinion. It can be a strongly voiced opinion. Yes, yes but the moment you start bullying. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm exactly no. like that. But I, I don't, don't like it. No, no, all. take it take it beyond this. Take it yeah. to any platform. Mm. The the discussion would be on AI. There's people against. There's people for. Yeah. There's people in between. There's yeah. And just it's just yeah. Just don't bully. No, don't bully. Don't bully. <laughs> because that will come back to that negative impact. Right. Yeah, so, yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, I think. I think that's right. I think we're really up. Yes. So a good wrap there. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm not going to close yours. I'll yeah, close I'll, I'll close mine um, too. I hope you enjoyed this first installment of Let's Talk. IP through through us in the deep, deep end. So let's yes. talk IP. It's not going to be the last. So so join us for more discussions because that's all it is. Mm. So talk about IP in various areas. Um, thank you, Ezra, for yeah. for joining us. I mean, thank, thank you for you having for... me on yours. Yes, uh, thank you for having it. me on yours as well. Um, and let's just see how this goes and where we are going. Yeah, I think definitely. eventually, that eventually people will sit back a few years from now and like, oh why did we worry? Or right. sit back and be like, well, like oh, yeah. they are ruling us now. <laughs> but we don't know. Um, yeah. I think I'm, I've, I've watched too many... Um, uh, the sci-fi the sci yeah, sci comes through stuff, very strongly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> very strong. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, I, I don't, don't think don't think we, we and you as artists should be too concerned. Yeah. 
No, that and this is not my famous last words. But <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm sure everything will sort itself out in time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, like all things do. For sure. And uh, my viewers, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, it was great to having this discussion with you. I think really a lot of the artists just follow me and even art enthusiasts mm -hmm. in general just had a few questions that yeah. needed to be discussed. And uh, yeah, mm -hmm. as always, just leave your stuff in the comments. Let us know what's, what your thoughts are. And um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. Uh, as always, this is Ezra. So keep on being yourself, keep on creating, and uh, yeah, enjoy the week. <laughs> All right. So, there that's we go. a wrap. <laughs>